I just watch. I was just watching Shaft for about the fourth or fifth time. Ah, I mean, fun. every scene you do is funny, man. It's, a, it's a, great. A, everything fun, you ever man. done in the movie is great, including what was it? Copland. Copland. And was even dope. the little cameos. Yeah. Yeah. Fan. yeah, it's fun. It's yeah. fun. I wish everybody could do it, you know, but they can't. So. <laughs> no, you don't wish everyone could do it. That's you make money in this bracket. Yeah, this is true. Let That's me right. ask you. Your team's in the news today. Le'Veon Bell. He's mm-hmm. frustrated. Mm-hmm. Because he has been randomly drug tested for five eight, times, five times, yeah, and I think it's ten weeks. Uh huh. I, I mean, you know, maybe it's just the New York mystique, but um, I, I, I don't get too much into the political parts of why they do what they do. I, I, at the end of the day, you guys are there to serve a purpose, and that's to win games and mm-hmm. bring revenue to the city. You know, um, but Le'Veon, I. I have to agree with him. I mean, if you get drug tested, I mean, five times in, in 10 weeks, there's a problem here. What, you guys don't trust me? I'm, I'm, I mean, I'm clean. That's exactly what they say. Hell no, they don't trust him. That's yeah. exactly what they say. Yeah, but I mean, at least just say it. Right. No, they're not even. <laughs> see, I think it's pettier than that. Mm-hmm. To me, you can have a random test. That's in the CBA. Yeah. Is it? Look at Le'Veon Bell's season. It's not like anyone thinks he's on PEDs right now. And these are PED tests. Right. So why did they randomly select him? Could it have something to do with the fact that he held out all of last year and showed a path for other players well, that they're if, willing if, to if, hold if, out, if, that they can control their own destiny. disclosure, we have an <sighs> obligation to bring this up. They say it's some computer. Oh, uh, yeah, random like, computer. Yeah, random yeah, yeah, yeah. Computer, computer system. system. Alex and, yeah. I mean, we just hey, have an um, obligation possible. to point that out. Okay, well, if <laughs> computers are doing that, so are we going to put computers on the sidelines now and let them coach the games and things you know of that what? nature? They might try it. They might try they it, might right? Try it. Oh, man. See how bad it's got. <laughs> that might trend now. I mean, think about that. You got officials missing calls all the time. This you got to send it to New York. And yeah. It comes back. And well, we even official. then, they still get it wrong. We but official. even then, they, they still get it wrong. Baseball, they're talking about replacing umps with... with. Computers, basically. With lasers and stuff. Well, yeah, I think it's all about uh, protecting, uh, you know, revenue. Uh, you know, quarterbacks are very valuable. Mm-hmm. Wide receivers are very valuable. This is why we're getting more OPIs and, and things of that nature. Um, but as far as the game goes, it's slowing the game up so much that yeah, people are losing interest. Mm-hmm. Let me ask you this question. Talk to me about why you're still a Jets fan. I think that's very, very important. This is a team that hasn't been in the playoffs since 2010. Their history of ineptitude is incredibly alarming. I think you have a head coach that shouldn't be the damn head coach. Um, What's the deal? It's a love-hate relationship, but I'm a Long Island kid, so we're we're met. I mean, Mets. And Jets mm. yeah. all day. My boy Jeff uh, in California ain't from Long Island. He, he's, he's from Queens, not from Long Island, though. Oh, he and he's a that. Mets and Jets fan, too. I don't understand it. I mean, it's, it's okay, let's say it's um, where we're living. Mm-hmm. It's um, not a lot of uh, things going on. Gotcha. Let's put it that way. People don't even think Long Island is part of New York sometimes, mm-hmm. and it pisses me off. But the Jets were always a staple there. They, they used to practice there, I think, at uh, Hofstra University yes, back they, in the day. That's father's on my mind. Um, yeah, true, see? Yeah. I, used to, um, I used to play peewee football, and right. they would bring us there to meet the team, and we never got to meet the sack exchange. They kept us away from those guys, right? I recently got to meet Marty Lyons a couple of weeks ago wow. at the Jets home game when they wore the Talk old Talk about Marty Lyons. Yes. Mark Gaston, Nigel Clever. Yes. What this makes me think of, I need to know. You said you're Mets and Jets, so Wu-Tang. How did that break down? Did you all have, like, sports arguments no. when you guys were coming up ever? Those guys don't Any- even watch TV, man. <laughs> <laughs> Dirty wasn't arguing. No, it's the Giants. Dirty could have cared less about sports. If it had on a skirt, he, he'd care about that. But that, that's just I'm it. sure I've heard some Wu-Tang references to sports. I'd have yeah, to I mean, some it. of us, I mean, believe it or not, Raekwon the chef used to pitch in Little League, you mm-hmm. know. Um, some of us have some type of, um, you know, <laughs> athletic ability. I used to play football, deck play basketball. But... I don't think they're as into the sports as, as myself and, let's say, Inspector Deck. Inspector right. Deck, more basketball, me more football. And lacrosse. Lacrosse? lacrosse. You get lacrosse, yes. You played lacrosse? I played lacrosse. lacrosse. I'm a Long Island. Well, we can't man. knock that. Jim Brown Boy, played lacrosse. Good thing that thing yeah. come out in 94 Jim, Jim or something Brown like that. Jim Brown played lacrosse. Man, lacrosse is a brutal sport, I know. Please. I like lacrosse. Like, yeah. It's well, like hockey, lacrosse, but, but on foot. you play lacrosse, yeah. why did you play football? Uh, lacrosse season came right after football. Okay. No, before football. Okay. Football would come. Gotcha. So right. they both went hand in okay. hand. Okay. And right. then there were some guys that were playing ba- little league, football, lacrosse, as well as basketball. Because mm. basketball was all year round in Long Island. You know what I mean? So well, Let me ask you this. Do you believe in Sam Darnold that he could potentially take your team to a Super Bowl? I think it's going to take some time. Um, if we do get there, I think the defense will bring us there before anything. Mm-hmm. Um but I like Donald. Uh, he reminds me of Favre. I know that's, that's like everyone says that. Um, but I wouldn't kiss him. 
Oh, my God. You're wrong for that. I mean, hey, he was late for hey. sixth period because he was yeah. playing spin the bottle. Wound up you forget bottle. he's like 20 years old. He's like 18. Oh, my yeah. goodness. He can't, I mean, it, it happens. Mm-hmm. Junior high school. Like- I'm sorry. I had to do that. Sam, I love you, bro. I got you. I had to do it. You got love for Adam Gase? <sighs> Give it to me, man. Yeah. I, 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 just let's just leave it. Go ahead, Max. Go ahead. <laughs> I look at the I look at the Jets. I see on offense Sam Darnold and Le'Veon Bell is not going to be in his prime by the time Sam Darnold's ready to win. If he is, because he looks pretty good to me. Yeah. Don't you guys need some skills positions players who can perform on an elite level? I don't know what it is about New York, but um, even with the Knicks, it's like this. It's not. We're not appealing to some of these 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 players to to want to come here and, and play with us, you know. Um, the Jets, like you said, we've been at the bottom of the barrel for a very long time. There's only one place for us to go, but up now. Um, even the Giants. Um, you think about these things, and every year when they do the draft, and we watch the Jets draft, this is. It's one faux pas after <laughs> <laughs> after another. I, I don't know. I don't know. I, but like I said, if, if you're a diehard Jet fan, you're going to watch the games, you're going to support the team, good or bad. Let's yeah. go to a go more positive note, all right? If you're yeah. a betting man, Miami, <laughs> Super Bowl, <laughs> who would be your picks? <laughs> AFC, NFC. Right now, the Patriots look great. They're, they're great for the league. Um, and uh, San Francisco, defenses win championships. Mm. Yeah. About New Orleans, with they got they got a. I like New Orleans. I, I like I, I like New Orleans. Um, uh, my son is a big New Orleans fan. Um, Drew Brees is on my fantasy team. He's my fantasy quarterback. You know, mm. I wish I had Kamara. Wait, but, you play season fantasy still? Yeah. Oh, it's daily fantasy now, Meth. I don't no. get it. Daily fantasy. I, I, I don't get it. I mean, I'm still new to just, you know, see. No, you got to do Okay, I'll put you on. All right, yeah, I'll go yeah, that, get, that, that'll be the end of that. Let there me get go. to. You mind if I bring up Miles Garrett? Go ahead, bring him. Um, what are your thoughts about the suspension that ultimately was handed down to him, suspended for the rest of the season? Uh, um, and he's appealing it, obviously. I think the news yeah. is coming down about that, but he was suspended for the rest of the season, et cetera, you know, basically because he hit Mason Rudolph with the helmet. Coming we heard an head. apology yeah. from Mason Rudolph yesterday yeah. saying that he wasn't innocent in all of this, et cetera. He could have handled it better. What are your thoughts that. about that? I, I, respected, I respected Rudolph for doing that. Um, Miles Garrett, I think the punishment fit the crime. But some people would think that it should lead into the next season because, I mean, I, I see players getting altercations all the time, right? And those helmets come off. But it's very rare mm-hmm. that they swing that helmet at someone's head. I, you know, whatever's going through the head, I don't want to hurt my team. I don't want to lose my bonus, I, whatever. Miles, it just seemed like just for a second there, when the helmet came off, everything stopped for a moment and then he swung it. Uh, It could have been something Rudolph had said to him, but in the back of his head, what should have been in the back of his head was, is this going to hurt my team? Yes. It definitely hurts your team. And he's going to appeal it. He's going to appeal it. He did. He appealed it. That's the best analysis I've heard of the the Garrett thing. Do you believe he should be suspended for the rest of the season? Because that's what the NFL did. Yep. Yeah, Yeah, I do. I I agree. I agree with the NFL's decision to suspend him for the rest of the season. But not next season. No. No. The punishment fits the crime, yeah. period. Yeah. Okay. I think the punishment fits the crime. But it's not really hurting Cleveland right now because they're definitely not going to the playoffs. Let's get to you. I mentioned the podcast. Tell us about it and what you're working on. Oh, Marvels. Um, this is, um, I, I mean, any kid that grew up reading comic books and loving comic books, Marvel is a dream job for anybody. So when I got the call to do a podcast, I was on it. And what the podcast was about is a book that I actually own called Marvel's artwork done by Alex Ross, water paint color. Incredible. If you guys can pick it up, pick it up. So they take uh, uh, a certain part out of uh, the uh, story and um, without giving away too much, some things happen, some special appearances. You may see a Spidey, you may see a Fantastic, who knows? And um, it's, it's basically the perspective. It turns the camera around from the superheroes and turns it on to the regular people and sees it from our perspective. So that's great right there. All right. Listen, man, keep up, man. You're doing a lot of good things. Thank man. you, but, sir. But, but you're, big, you're, big, you're, a, you're a big time talent. I'd like to see you in more movies. Me too. Me too. And I've been in that gym scene, every day. You steal a scene. Right. Thank, thank you, brother. Appreciate that. Thank you that. so much for being here. Woo. Come back again. Adam good luck Gates. here, Jeff. My God. Or if you're sick, I'm afraid. Don't go anywhere. 
Now only at Domino's for $7.99 each, you can carry out all five crust options with any three toppings. Try handmade pan crust when you crave something thick and hearty. Or carry out any of our five crusts for just $7.99 every day, only at Domino's. Set my goals like a goal, hit the switch. Work, 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 check Do it, it up big. the list. Bigger. Hit it. Because they're dope.